So to do, please forgive me, I'm uh, fighting a bit of a cold in the throat thing, so a glass of water here, and I'll probably cough a few times before I finish. But it'll keep it short, so that's the, uh, that's the upside. And being struck by, I suppose first of all, just how technically accomplished uh, he is uh, as a painter. And so I wasn't surprised to discover that he spent a number of years training in the, uh, in the academy in Poland, in Warsaw. He left that, though, to, to uh, earn a crust and uh, had worked as a, a restorer, a painting and furniture restorer in, I think, in Poland, in the UK as well, in Windsor Castle at one stage, is that right, uh, Adam? Um, and uh, I hope Ireland opened its arms and embraced you, Adam, no, no, and uh, no. you, you, you multiplied <laughs> uh, art education, which had persisted in Eastern Europe. We, we, it seemed to fade away here, yeah. but for whatever reason it persisted uh, in Eastern Europe. Uh, perhaps communism was more conservative, they were looking for a different kind of art. Uh, and so first, the first thing we see here, I think, on the walls is work that's extraordinarily accomplished, isn't it? Uh, my first impression walking in was I felt like I'd come into one of those rooms in the National Gallery where they hang the Dutch pictures. You know, the, the, wonderful, uh, the wonderful Rembrandts and the Vermeers. Uh, and here's one of Adams where it looks a little bit like the Flight into Egypt by Rembrandt. Are you familiar with that picture in the, in the National Gallery? And you see the, the figures huddled around what you think is a fire resting uh, on their long journey. But uh, as you go closer, you realise it's not a fire. The piece is called Sky News. They're watching a television. So I suppose in a way the television has become the gospel of the, the 21st century, or maybe that's been overtaken by other technology as well. Um, I, I, I mean, I look at what, a picture over here by Andre and I see it's called, it's fading love. Two figures embracing, but their faces are, are, are disappearing into the mist. And all of this uh, accomplished on, for the most part, very small paintings, or small paintings, where, as Andre was saying to me, every, every stroke of the brush counts. There's a kind of, it's a kind of distillation, isn't it? There's a concentration of effort and energy uh, and focus on the paintings. And that comes through. All of Andre's, I, I notice, are all figures. So the human figure particularly engages, engages you, uh, Andre. Uh, and also figures feature, I think, in almost all of uh, Adam's work as well. Because all art, all great art, all art, I think, that speaks to us, even if it's pure landscape, is about the human experience, isn't it? I, I think it's a pity that I, I, the Irish art scene is, in some ways, so insular. I don't know if it's as welcoming as it should be to, to artists who come in from the outside. You know, a relatively small number of, of, of Irish artists tend to dominate the market here. And it's very hard to break into that, even if you're Irish, and particularly if you're coming from abroad. But we weren't always like that. You know, there was a tradition in the 18th and 19th centuries of welcoming in uh, craftsmen and, and artists from, uh, from elsewhere in Europe. Almost it was a cachet. And, and both uh, Andre and uh, Adam are in that tradition. You know, I think of, uh, I think of, um, I count Markovitz, uh, who, who the husband of, of Countess Markovitz, uh, who was a, who was a pope pole who settled here and was very active in the Irish uh, art scene here. So this isn't something that's uh, that's happened uh, that's happened recently. I, having said that, Adam I know has exhibited in the RAJ on on more than one occasion and on Andre as well. So perhaps we're seeing a little chink uh, here. And I know that really you know gr great collectors. Uh, are, are open to influences and ideas and work from around the world and are excited by all kinds of visual stimuli. And I would encourage you to be collectors of that sort, to see these paintings uh, as a wonderful expression uh, of the vision and uh, the spirituality of the two artists uh, who, are with us, who are with us here. Uh, so thank you so much for the opportunity to open the exhibition and I wish you every success with this and all your future ventures.